crazy because I didn't. Even, <laughs> I, I will say like I've never even like before I knew about the show mm-hmm. until I heard you were coming and I'm like, oh, he's on Big Brother. I'm like, all right, what is this? <laughs> and I'm like, all right, the fact that. Black people don't know about Big Brother, by the way. No, which is very no, interesting. No, that's I've not. Heard that's real not, world, not, like, okay. That's not the game show yeah, we watched. Of no. course. I didn't even know it was a game show. I just Damn, not a game show. What you thought it was? But also, like, I thought people survivors, were just on TV. Like yeah, the, I thought it was just like a regular reality that show, like, real world, like, real world type shit. Like, yeah. I wish. I would have loved to have been drinking and smoking and trying to, like, oh, yeah. find a daddy to take home. That would have been great. <laughs> other than trying to sit here and be like, it's okay. Don't worry. They're, <laughs> they're not going to vote you out this week. I'm going to help you. Psych, bitch. Psych, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. That's crazy. So I said it was very easy. People? You know, growing up, being who, I'm going to say it now, my dad is smoking Joe Frazier. Go ahead, get it out, guys. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow, well, yeah. We wow, did I didn't know. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. Nah, 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 because earlier he was, like, in the beard. he was like, I don't know if y'all know this, but my dad was Joe Frazier. He was like, for real? What? You don't say. I had no idea. That was like the <gasps> third thing we knew about you. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally. So growing up in North Philadelphia, I just feel like learning about how to be on my own, how to like talk to people, how to interact with people. I learned mm-hmm. from my dad. Mm-hmm. So that definitely did help. Um, but, you know, it's it definitely got me to where I'm at today. Mm-hmm. I'm very thankful for it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's also it's very stressful being a Frasier. I don't think people understand it's very mm-hmm. Stressful. Man. I was gonna say no party. My ever family's very ring? crazy. No, my dad didn't let me. Oh, really? But he did knock me out when I was young. What? Oh, whoa. Ah. yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I came home thinking I was slick. You know, I've been hanging out with the homeboys. I'm like, Psh. how old are you? <laughs> I'm about probably like 11 or 12, I think. 11 oh, sorry, 12. 11 or 12 at this point. 11 or 12. Okay. Um, and I was like, yeah, I could, I could beat you, dad, because you know I'm thinking my dad. He oh, cool. nigga, are you done? <laughs> He's, uh, are you, are you okay? at the time? Nigga, I'm he's smoking jokes. I know. Every kid. Has that moment where like, oh no, my, no, my no, no, you should have no, had that moment. No, you ever should have. I've never had that moment. I don't and think my dad's could, a fucking. I don't chef. think you could beat your sister. <laughs> Not a chef. No, <laughs> that nigga cooks for a living. And I never you thought that about your sister. I know, I know. But here's the thing. At that time, okay, see, I know, a, a, I know. A I'm not going to give you the backstory. There's probably no use because it doesn't make any sense. How but, many siblings you got? Just one sister. So I have, ha- I have a bunch of brothers and sisters. They're all halves, mm-hmm. but I'm the baby. Right. Um. So I have five and five. So there's eleven of us. God, God damn. damn. No, he my, was slinging. I know he was. He just didn't. And let me tell you, his slinging has caused me a lot of stress now at this age because <laughs> we can't even get along. Our drama is uh, so much. It's a whole nother <laughs> can of work. I'm so tired of it. I'm ready to change my name. So don't expect probably soon my name will change this at some point. Derek, I'm Derek De La Croix. Yeah. <laughs> Derek LaCroix. Something Derek different. La Derek De La Cruz. <laughs> De La Cruz. <laughs> I, De De La Give me some new last name. Name. Derek, so anybody D- can Derek Dominguez. Uh, yes, please. Get, I need Dominican a new last now. name. Oh, you can pass for Dominican. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, see, sure. hola, como estas? Muy bien, buta. Buta. <laughs> don't speak. <laughs> That's when you stop don't passing. Don't say shit. <laughs> don't, don't say, say shit. Like, just say you're phony. Just say you're like third or fourth generation. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I yeah, love yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Or yeah. fifth. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, perfect. I believe you. So, yeah. I came home, I said, Dad, I could beat you because you know you go to that edge your parents piss you off Mm -hmm. you think like my dad's old I know I get it I know he's like he's like 50 something at this age listeners at home (laughs) if you're just joining us now In the middle of the episode. In the middle of the episode. 28 episodes. Which we don't normally do. We have the son of one smoking Joe Frazier. Now I want you to pause this episode for a second, wherever you are. Take a minute and Google (laughs) Joe (laughs) Frazier. All right. Can we look up Joe Frazier's uh, boxing record real quick? <laughs> real fast. Real fast, oh, please. Are you want me to pop it up? Yeah, just real yeah. quick. I just want to just let me get a quick See, number on what. Who, who he fought and who he beat. No, no, no. We well, don't got, we got to get to I just need a. Muhammad Ali. Win, 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 That's a lot of W's. Win, 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 win. I just want to know what the number is. What's the total number? Those all came late. The total number? Yeah, like total record. probably had to look up total number. 32 wins, 4 losses, and 27 of them were by knockout. 32 wins? Yeah. I think it's more than that. Oh, no. You know what? No, I think that's right. So it's 32 wins? Yeah. Yeah. Wrong. It's 33 because he beat this nigga the fuck up. <laughs> Add one more. <laughs> Continue. Sorry. But Mike, you were you were looking at me funny. His sister's no slouch either. Oh, we're gonna get to that. Yeah, we're oh, but God, I wanna God, finish God. this story. Okay, so yeah, so I came home. My dad was like, all right, cool, let's put on the let's put on he put me in headgear. He didn't put himself in headgear. He's okay. so he don't need what, 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 what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Give me a break. 
break. I'm a little kid. We ain't gonna do it. Your dad about to, nigga. Continue. Broke his foot in your ass. So I said, oh, dad, you know what? I can, you know, keep my... I also learned from him. Mm -hmm. So I felt a little confident. I've been kind of training in the gym. I've now, like, you know how they say kids start smelling themselves? I started smelling myself. I've been hanging out. You should have put on some deodorant. I I can fight. I I started thinking, you know, I'm hanging out with the homeboys at home. We've been fighting in the street. That's what I've learned from these random silly niggas. I've been fucking people up in the street. So I'm thinking (laughs) I can do. I know. (laughs) Yeah, my dad I, is in trouble now. <laughs> I learned from these fake Muslims out of box. He ain't never seen nothing like me, my he, he, I used to rumble this shit out of. <laughs> How many times did your dad say I wanted them niggas in the streets? On the block. Uh, I, listen, I, I I just thought maybe with a couple of these fights I had, they probably last less than two minutes of mm-hmm. me whooping people's ass and fighting with the homeboys. I'm thinking like, all right, dad, what's up? So I get in the ring. It's just me and him. This is a Sunday, so no one's here. So it's just he me know and the day still. And I know to keep my hands up, and I'm so confident. <laughs> keep going. I know, I, I know to it. keep my hands up I, when fighting Joe Frazier. <laughs> I what? I should probably keep these shits up. Continue. So, so I said, you know, I had my hands up. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> You did what? I said, all right, let's go. I had my hands up. I'm ready to go, okay? I know to always keep my protection in front of my face. Uh And I said, you know, my dad, he comes up. The bell goes off. He comes up. And he's just standing there. So at this moment, I'm like, all right. So my dad always said, throw out a jab. No matter what, always throw out a jab. Because a jab will keep you distracted. And I throw out this one jab. I'm like, pow. Like, I throw out this one jab. I'm going towards the chest. Because I'm I'm short also. I can't. Like, I'm not, not that tall. What's the high yeah. difference? I mean, my dad was only five. He was only 5'10". But okay. I was probably, I'm, 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 a, I'm like 11 or 11. 12. So I'm not all the way yeah. at my full height yet. Mm-hmm. So I go for the jab. Mm-hmm. And all you know, I woke up the next day. That's all I know. That's all I got for you. I woke up the next day. I just remember getting hit so hard. I woke up Tuesday. Yeah, I I, I remember getting hit so hard. I don't know if it was a right hook, a left hook. I don't know. But it was some type of hook. And I just remember passing out. And they brought me home and told my mom that I fell on the stairs. And I'll be okay. Knocked his ass out. And knocked me out. He's lost to only two people in his life, in his career. (laughs) Muhammad Ali. And George Foreman, and he thought he <laughs> and was going to be the was going to be number three, <laughs> right there. I'm, I'm going exactly. to repeat these names: George Foreman, George Foreman and Muhammad Ali two, were the only two people the to ever beat him. Oh, right, oh, but here's the thing: I will say this. I'm I'm glad that happened because obviously it taught me a lesson for mm. a lifetime. And at least I can only say there's only been two people that have knocked me to the ground, and that is my father and. You know, somebody else in my life. Ooh, they yeah, they oh. it, but they knocked me pretty good to the ground. The you know? m- no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's only, been, there's only been two people. So, I have not still lost the fight since my dad. MJ, so, <laughs> MJ, he was like, he almost zoomed in. Switch it. Switch it. Switch it. Switch it now. <laughs> Oh so, my gosh. So your sister boxes too? Yes. Yes. Jacqueline Frazier lied. Uh-huh. My sister. She's now a judge. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. Like a so, TV judge or real? No, real judge. Now in Philadelphia. Sure. No, no, no. She's a judge. So she did I fight. I was there during her whole training process, which was crazy. Mm-hmm. That's why I was like, you do it. I, I'm glad daddy <laughs> told me not to do it because daddy was like, Did I you need... ever have a desire to even though I your did. dad told you I not did. to? I did. I did. I really, I did a little bit of amateur too. Mm-hmm. I did a little bit of amateur so I fought at the Blue Horizon for a little bit. I, I fought at my dad's gym but after a while, my dad was like, this ain't for you. He's like, no, you're going to focus on fucking school because I need you to get an education and be able to count this money and be able to read contracts and Mm -hmm. things like that. So I was very Mm -hmm. thankful for that. Um, But I watched my sister go through her training. Her training was crazy. Rigorous. Like, I remember just like I would go over to go play with my nephews and she was out there like hitting trees and shit. Like, I was like, what is going on? Like, <laughs> that's like, anime, anime training. That's that Rock Lee shit. Yeah. Yeah. I will not stop oh, until I have 15,000 jabs. <laughs> yes. Like, she and when was, I do 15,000 jabs, I'll do 20,000 hooks. Yes, like she was being a mom. Like, she'd be like, okay, I'm gonna take you guys to go do this and then like, she would take us and then she'd be outside doing running miles and shit. I used to be like, oh, woman's crazy, but she was a great fighter um, and the, I her love only watching. loss 
Yes, was she, to Layla. Yeah, oh, she, oh, yeah, she, God, yeah, man. yeah. Mm. But it can't. But it's crazy because my sister kept asking for a rematch, but Layla would never take it. Smart because she like broke her collarbone. Uh, yeah, my sister wanna... hit her so hard and broke her collarbone. She was mm. like, nah, oh, your sister was I don't want beast. that smoke. I used, to, yeah. I used to watch her fight. She was a beast. Yeah, she really was. Yeah. So, okay. you know, it was very interesting. And then, of course, you know, my dad was like, I need you to focus on school. So he sent me to military. I'm about to say, where do you go to school? Yeah. <laughs> don't y'all start. Don't y'all <laughs> start. Where <laughs> to school? Thank you guys. This is the end of the podcast. <laughs> if you guys need to listen to more, you can go subscribe to my <laughs> YouTube <laughs> channel at the Heavy Crown Network where you get Big Brother recaps, okay? That's what you can do. <laughs> they send them to the military. Where school. are we going to send them? <laughs> 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 they said, all right. So. so